All right, everybody, welcome back to the Saracen Trellis Show. This is a Monday coaching episode, so I will keep it short and sweet today. But I want to share with you a couple of the mindset tools that I teach and have been coaching now for over a decade. I've been using them to literally overhaul my entire life, <laughs> and I use them to create my next level uh, all the time. But They've been working for myself and for clients for a really long time. So they've been tested um, and they're going to be part of my new book, The Mind Lab, which is going to be out next year. So if you are new to me or have not read my books, the main tool that I want to share today is the one that if you just practice it, honestly, it can change your life. I call it mental tennis. So let me kind of set this up for you because the setup is important. I'm a super visual person. Um, and so the visual really helps me to remember to use the tool uh, and hopefully it will stick in your mind as well. All right, so imagine you are out on a tennis court and you're out there to practice your return serve. And so, there's one of those kind of electric ball spitters out on the court and it's sending a ball your way every five seconds or something. Now, imagine that you're just standing there right in front of that thing and you're getting hit by a hundred tennis balls. No one in their right mind is gonna do that, right? I'm not trying to leave <laughs> the tennis court bruised from head to toe. No, instead we're gonna go out there and we are going to do our very best to try and return those serves. Now you're not gonna get all of them. You might only get, you know, maybe half go over the net, but you're gonna do your best. You're gonna run around and you're gonna try and hit that ball back over the net. Okay, now that we have this visual, I want you to start to think about what is going on in your mind all day, every day. We have thoughts coming at us constantly. Um, I think 3000 was the number that, that I read on Google, something like that. Just a, a ton of thoughts that come at you uh, all day long. And most of them, honestly, are coming at you uh, almost at a subconscious level because they're so ingrained in us. They're so programmed. Um, different things that happen throughout the day trigger them. So all of those thoughts, things that, you know, tell you maybe you're not good enough or you shouldn't do this or you're tired or you don't feel good or anxiety uh, thoughts, thoughts about stress, doesn't matter, right? But any of the thoughts that, that circle, you know, our brain throughout the day that are not helpful, in other words, they're not leading us to the outcome that we want. They're just reminding us of all the things we don't want. Those are thoughts that we want to actively change because whether you believe it or not, thoughts become your reality. That's just a fact. I've been proving that for, God, almost 15 years. Um, there's tons of research on it. You know, go down your own rabbit hole on that, but it's a fact. All you have to do is look through your past life uh, the last five years of your life, last 10 years, whatever, and do your own quick little inventory. Ask yourself, hey, what do I usually think about? What do I usually stress about? What do I usually, you know, what typically triggers my uh, anxiety or negative self-talk or whatever the case is? And then all you have to do is say, well, what do I typically think about that topic? And boom, <laughs> you will have the reality version of that play out throughout your life over and over and over again. And that was the first big aha moment that I had 15 years ago when I first started learning about personal development or the fact that, you know, I could architect my life. I didn't know if it would work in a positive way. I had no idea, but I could 100% draw the correlation between what I typically thought about any given topic and what my reality was. And then I could see how many times that showed up throughout my life. So it was this pattern that kept on happening over and over and over again. And what I had been telling myself kept on becoming my reality. And so we get to this place where our brain 
really tries to convince us that these are hardcore facts. In other words, there's nothing I can do to change these circumstances or change the belief or change getting these outcomes because we have so much data. We have so much proof that this thing keeps happening to us, right? But if you, we really start to strip it away and are honest with ourselves, we can trace back to when I started thinking that that was going to happen or when I started telling myself that. So if you can get a little bit of proof, that always helps. Definitely if you're a thinker, it helps you just kind of lean into this concept faster so that you can start getting good positive results quicker because that's all we're after, right? But go back through your life, think about things that um, are maybe negative or things you don't like or things that cause stress or anxiety, whatever. And then get out a piece of paper, ask yourself, what do I usually tell myself about this? Or what are the thoughts that are recycling? And then now you'll be really aware when they come up again, because they will, they'll be triggered. <laughs> they, they run on a loop in the back of our, our mind without a lot of effort. So now when those thoughts come up, I want you to use mental tennis. And it is so simple. I'm going to keep it as simple as I possibly can because it is such a simple tool and that's, it's magic. That's why it works so well. So if we go back to that analogy of being on the tennis court and the ball coming at me, all I'm trying to do is reverse that ball, right? I'm trying to hit it back over the net. So when it comes to what's going on in our head, when those thoughts come at us, I want you to, in that moment, as soon as you hear the thought or recognize the thought, I want you to hit it back over the net. In other words, I want you to say, what is the opposite of this thought? Find the opposite. As soon as you find the opposite, then that is what you tell yourself. And you tell yourself that opposite over and over again. In the very beginning, I usually suggest that in the moment when you're first using it, say it 10 times. Say it with power 10 times. Um, so if the thought is, um, I don't want to try this because I won't be successful. I haven't been successful at other things in the past, whatever. Then I want to immediately go, okay, what is the opposite of that? And that opposite is I'm going to be successful at this. This will be the first thing I'll be successful at. So in that moment, I am saying, I am going to be successful at this. I'm going to try it because I know this time I'm going to be successful. This time I'm taking all of the knowledge that I've learned in the past and this one will be successful. So I just pound that into my brain, put it in good solid 10 times. And from now on, every time that thought resurfaces, I just drill it back in with that new motto, the new opposite motto. Okay. It's that simple. I'm just batting it back over. Here's the crazy thing though, you guys, this is why I am so fired up about this, this tool, because I've just seen it change people's lives in, in a matter of honestly, like if you say it to yourself 10 times in that moment, you're going to feel better in that moment, you're going to feel like you're getting control of something you didn't have control of before. So if that's all it did, awesome. Cause that makes my day go better. And I'm, I'm all for that. That's amazing. Right. That's a tool that now made me feel better than I did before, winning. But here's the really cool part about it, okay? It actually is starting to create that new outcome that you're putting out there. Because the new outcome didn't exist before, all we were doing before was recycling that old thought, which when you logically think about it, was of course going to bring me the reality over and over and over again, right? So the thought was creating the reality, the thought creating, and I'm just on a hamster wheel. If you wanna get off those hamster wheels and start creating a brand new future and brand new outcomes that you've never achieved before, you have to start putting the new outcomes out into the universe on a regular basis. And you have to stop creating the old outcomes. And so mental tennis does both of those things. It's absolutely magic. 
it stops creating the negative because you're no longer receiving it. In other words, you're no longer standing in front of that ball spitter getting pelted. You're saying, nope, that's not true. Instead, this is true. Instead, I'm gonna be super successful. Instead, I, um, you know, I'm learning every day. I'm getting better every day. I am learning from my past mistakes. I'm proud of myself for showing up. So now I'm starting to tell myself outcomes that I actually want. And as soon as I do that on a regular basis, some really incredible things are going to start to happen. Number one, I am now lining up a brand new future for myself. I'm lining up the possibility of those new statements becoming my reality in the future. They weren't there before. I wasn't saying that stuff to myself before. I wasn't putting it into the universe. So how could they have happened before? Now they're out there. I'm being consistent with that. I'm saying it multiple times a day. I'm saying it every time those thoughts come up. So boom, I'm calling it into existence every time I do that. Number two, it's gonna start to do something magical, which is over time, it is gonna start to change your core belief about that topic. So remember before when I had all that negative proof where my brain was saying, no, you won't be successful. I have five examples of where you weren't successful. I can prove that shit to you. Now, because we're starting to put these new mottos and affirmations out into the universe on a consistent basis, now I have two voices in my head all the time. Every time a new opportunity comes up, every time a decision point comes up, I have two voices, the old voice that still might pop up and say, oh, you shouldn't do that. Here's all the reasons why. Now I have this new voice, the one that I've been layering in on that consistent basis that is saying, hey, this time it's going to be different. This time I'm going to be successful. This time it's going to work. This time people are going to show up for me. This time I'm ready, right? And so in that moment, I have the ability and the opportunity to make a new decision. And this is where the action starts layering in behind the things I tell myself to begin getting me new results. And I'm telling you, you will start to get them and you'll start to get them so much faster than you ever thought. And now all of a sudden you're gonna build brand new proof points on this new side of the aisle, right? And this brand new future that you're starting to create. And then your brain will start to grab onto that and say, oh, maybe that was possible because what I started telling myself two weeks ago, holy cow, look, the opportunity is here and that actually happened. So now I'm starting to create an entire new pathway where I'm separating myself from the old belief and over time, because I'm no longer allowing those negative thoughts to come in and spread their, uh, you know, negative and toxic manifesting energy in my life, I've shut that down. They stop surfacing because they're not relevant anymore. Now I have, you know, new proof on the side of the new mottos and affirmations that I'm saying on this new life that I'm creating, on the new person I'm becoming, okay? So even though this tool is really simple and the way I describe it hopefully is pretty simple, that is its magic. Its magic is in the consistency. Its magic is in the fact that you don't have to overthink this. All you have to do is say, what is the opposite? What's the opposite? What do I want instead? And remember, when you first start to practice this, you know, the very first couple of times, your brain's going to really try and fight you. It's going to say, no, that's not true. It's going to try and drag you into all these, you know, conversations to get you to stop. And you have to double down. You have to say, no matter what, I am putting this new outcome out into the universe so that I have a chance to live it right? I didn't have a chance before when I wasn't putting it out there. Now I have a chance. And even if that chance is 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%
man, I'm going to take it. I'm going to lean in because that's a whole lot better than zero. Okay. And I'm telling you that if you do this and if you are consistent, you're going to have just incredible, incredible results. I have had clients who have suffered from mass anxiety. And we're talking about social anxiety disorder. I had a client who had not left her apartment in two years. We started using these tools. We started working together. And in two weeks, we were out having lunch at a cafe. So the outcomes from what we tell ourselves are incredibly powerful because what you tell yourself with repetition is what becomes your belief system and your belief system is driving your actions. It's creating results. It is manifesting the same types of people over and over in your life. It's doing the self-sabotage or whatever. So the same way that it's working or has maybe worked in a negative way in your past, this is how we change that and just tweak the system so that now it's starting to work in a positive way for our future. And let me tell you, it is such a game changer. And I, I hope with all of my heart that when you're done listening to this, you put in the work and you start practicing it as often as you can. And remember, it works for anything that you want to change. Works the exact same way on relationship stuff, on building your confidence, on your self-talk, on your self-love, on your financial abundance or lack, on your career success, on whether opportunities are coming to you or they're not. Doesn't matter. This simple, simple tool, you plug it in and ask yourself, what do I want instead? If I don't want this, what do I want instead? And from now on, I'm going to be diligent in the fact that I'm putting out every day, every time this thought comes up, what I want instead over and over and over again, until that becomes my reality. That is how I manifest a brand new outcome. And I'm telling you this tool, it's everything. This is the one that all my clients always come back to and are just like, man, mental tennis changed everything for me. So if you want a little more help, if you want to figure out how to do that for your own personal stuff, um, if you want to become an expert at really changing and mastering your thoughts so that you can expedite the future you want and stop creating outcomes you don't, then I would love to work with you. I have a couple different ways to do that. I'll put those in the show notes. Uh, one of those is the VIP membership. It's a great way for me to work with you privately. Um, you get two calls a month. It's an incredible, incredible opportunity for me to help you personally get the results you want and get them quickly. All right, everybody. I would love to hear what you thought about today's episode. If you found it valuable, please give back, share it with someone you know who needs this message. You know, all the other things. Let me know in comments on my social media and tag a friend and that gets you in the drawing to maybe win a private call with me every week. All right, until next time, hustle and thrive.